I don't know if you did the same thing during the quarantine, but you know what we did? We cleaned our house and we went through all the things that no longer fit us or we don't wear. And part of that was we went through our hangers and this is a bunch of the hangers that we have. In fact, there's more in our closets, but this is just the extra. And when we went through our hangers, guess what we found? A baby bagosh hanger. Now, this is for about a six month, six to nine months baby clothes. Can I tell you something? My youngest child is 13 years old. She does not fit into anything that would hang on this. And yet for some reason, we still have it around 12 and a half years later. Do you find things around in your life that you've never been able to get rid of? I mean, sometimes we keep it as nostalgia. In fact, my mom gave me this whole box, this, this tote filled with things from my childhood. I had my baby book, I had the cute little outfits that I used to wear when I was short, pudgy, and like a little human bowling ball. I mean, there's all these beautiful little things that I have that I think I'm going to appreciate someday and my kids will laugh at, for sure. But what about our attitudes? Are we still living as teenagers when we're growing up? And if you're a teenager, are you still behaving like a little kid? There's some times that we forget that in our hearts, we gotta throw away some of the things from our past. And we have to grow up in our faith. I guess my question for you is, if you're following God, are you any different today than you were a year ago? If you're following God, are you any different today than you were five years ago? And if the answer is no, that means you have not cleaned out the stuff in your life and you haven't made decisions to grow up. We're going to get rid of this hanger. We have no use for it. And in 2 Timothy 2.22, it tells us what we have to get rid of and what we have to pursue. It says this, Flee the evil desires of your youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. It says, are you growing up and doing the right thing? Are you growing up finding out that life can be peaceful? Are you growing up in love, not just receiving it, but giving it? Are you growing up with those who also call the name of the Lord? Are you growing up with other people who follow Jesus? We can't do this alone. Jesus gives us each other. So my question for you is, are you growing up? Are you fleeing the evil desires of your youth? You know, those things as a teenager that you used to do, that rebellious spirit, those rebellious actions, those things that said, I can do this because I'm an adult. Sometimes we act like little kids and we forget that God wants us to grow up in him. So where do you need to grow up this week? Where do you need to act with righteousness and love and peace and faith? and with other people who follow Jesus. My challenge is for you to take a step forward in growing up. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, help us grow up in you. And Lord, that thing that came to our mind during this devotion, Lord, let us push forward into that and let go of that old part of us and let us pursue you out of a pure heart. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, have a great week and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.